1993, along with my colleagues Dennis McKenna and Jace Calloway, we went to Manaus in the Brazilian Amazon and conducted fairly substantial phase one biomedical psychiatric evaluation of the health of long-term members of the UDV who utilize ayahuasca in religious ceremony twice monthly. We had a match control group that was matched on socioeconomic lines, education, all parameters except for the fact that they had never been exposed to ayahuasca. Their first ayahuasca sessions were usually quite terrifying and quite unsettling, but they were also revelatory in the sense that they became quite afraid but then there was a redemptive moment. There was a, a period during these difficult early experiences where they saw a way to change their life and have a better outcome. When we did structured psychiatric diagnostic interviews, we found that quite a number of these ayahuasca church members had had histories of some significant psychopathology prior to the time they entered the ayahuasca church. After their entry into the church, they actually rather radically transformed. On the biochemical side, we were doing various measurements. We found a surprising thing, which is that the levels of the serotonin transporters not receptors, but the transporters were significantly elevated in the drinkers compared to an age-matched control of non-drinkers. And we thought, well, that's interesting. There is a clear difference between the drinkers and the non-drinkers. What does this mean? But then, of course, when you don't know, first thing you do is go to the literature, and we found a whole spectrum of publications having to do with deficits in the transporter being associated with alcoholism and homicidal tendencies and suicidal tendencies, depression, exactly the kind of thing that the UDV people were facing. 